it's not the support of your friends or your family. At the end, it's all about your mindset. Get your mindset ready before you go on this path of self-improvement to becoming your best version of yourself. It took a couple of nights in bed where I was in fecal position and I was just thinking about it, thinking how am I going to achieve my goals? How am I going to do this? How am I going to recover from this? Until I realised that, hey, I don't have to feel this way. It was almost an inner voice which told me, why don't we take a couple of steps back and see what we can do to get you walking again. And that was when I started to gain more momentum. That was probably the best part of my recovery. And so on top of physical rehabilitation, it's important that you get your thinking right. It's important that your mind is in the right place because uh, you can make a great physical recovery and not want to leave the house because you're lying in the fetal position. You can make an okay physical recovery but, but be okay with that. Um, and that comes down to your thinking and your attitude and all that kind of stuff. And, and I think that that's brought me to this place. The depression was severe. Uh, after I left the hospital, I would not leave the house for two weeks. I cut off from communication from my family, uh, not from my extended family, um, and cut off full communication from my friends. Talk to someone straight away. See, uh, see a medical professional, a, psych a psychiatrist or a psychologist. Talk to someone straight away. I wait. I denied to the nurses for too long, until it got to the point where I was severe depression, and that's where it made it hard. It started affecting my family. It started affecting my relationship with my partner and stepdaughters. Um, there was a couple of days where they didn't want to come and see me because they would lash out because I was keeping all this builds, builds up frustration because this was the stroke. Had I not survived the stroke, I wouldn't have written my autobiography, wouldn't have climbed Kilimanjaro, wouldn't have filmed the two documentaries in Africa, wouldn't have become a motivational speaker wouldn't have played my 100th game for my local footy club. Yeah, I really get a lot out of motivating other people and seeing their reactions to my story. I've come up with a metaphor which kind of describes stroke. And the way I view it is like a painting. And before your stroke, you've got a very detailed painting. It's a self-portrait of yourself. You know what your identity is. You know what goals you want to achieve in life. And then when the stroke happens, or any catastrophe other than that happens, some guy comes over with a white paintbrush and just paints all over your portrait. You kind of remember what your old portrait looked like, but it's time to paint a new portrait. And for stroke recovery, at the beginning, you're going to be painting big, broad strokes. And what these resemble are the first steps you take towards your recovery. And then as I got better, you use a different paintbrush, more detailed brushes. And, then the, and, and what these resemble are milestones in your recovery until you get to a point where you've got a new self-portrait. And what this resembles is the ultimate goal, which is recovery. Because now you've got a new version of yourself probably one which is better than the old one.